God bless you, my brothers and sisters. I have yet another powerful word for you. Brothers and sisters, remember that every day I release words of encouragement upon your lives. So it is important that you get connected to this platform. Also, if you are new to this platform, I welcome you. There is always something new for everyone. I welcome you to this powerful platform where I share the word of God. Remember that Jesus is King. That no matter what you are going through, no matter what you got yourself into, God will bring you out of that captivity. Today's word is, they gave you cast objects. Brothers and sisters, some of you have uh, a way of receiving gifts, not knowing that some of those gifts are cast objects. Some of those gifts are being used by your enemies. Some of those gifts are have a spell on them. So before you receive a gift from a stranger, from someone you call friends, pray about it. Even when you go to the market to buy goods, be very careful. Pray about it. Because witches are stationed in the market looking out for children of God, looking out for people to destroy. So whenever you go out, pray. Jesus told us this thing, that men ought to pray and not faith. Don't take your life for granted. This is a war. You are in a spiritual war. It is a warfare. Whether you like it or not, you are going through it day and night. So stay on guard. Some of you have received pictures, objects. Some of you have necklaces, books that belong to the demonic world, that belong to the occult, that belong to the sorcerers. Some of you, these things have been sent to you by your family members. If you have these objects, and God, some of you have spoken to you. In fact, God speaks to you. A lot of people don't know this, that God speaks to his children. Scripture says that his sheep hear his voice and they know. If you are God's sheep, you are supposed to hear his voice. So my brothers and sisters, there are things that you are supposed to drop. There are things that you would have burnt, destroyed a long time ago. Listen, don't be afraid. I know some of you uh, have questions that if I destroy it, will it uh, haunt me? Will it uh, cause nightmares? Just destroy it. Pray about it. And get rid, of, get rid away with it. Don't be afraid of the enemy. Because God has you. Because God is with you. You belong to God. So my brothers and sisters, some of you, these things are blocking your breakthrough. They are blocking your miracle. I know some of you uh, will sit down and wonder why is it that uh, the children of Israel were in bondage for so long? Some of you may not know. Yes, they used to pray, but there was something that was holding them. They had pagan worship. They acted like the Egyptians. Some of them had idols in their household. They prayed to the Egyptian gods. They wash, some of them worshipped two gods. That is why they, some of them they had that delay in their life. Some of you are having delay in your life because you are doing things without knowing. You are holding on to something that you would have let go a long time ago. It is holding your finances. Some of your financial life would have been going up, but right now it's going down because there are things that are in your life that you need to get rid of. Get rid of them fast before they destroy you. 
This is the word for you, my brothers and sisters. Remember that uh, I release these words to encourage you, and these are words to give you hope. This is the word of God. Now, I've come to the end of this word. I encourage you to uh, share this message with someone and let somebody know about this good news. Leave your comments in the comment section. If you want to get in touch with me, send me your message through my email address. My email is in the about section. Until next time, God bless you.